first guests, plural, today. One is a Broadway star, an actress, and a Disney legend. Uh, shout out to all of the parents, <laughs> many of them work behind the scenes here, who have watched Elsa and Frozen like a bajillion times. I know, calm it down. Uh, everybody knows, of course, who we're talking about now, but she's bringing a new song to life with her first children's book that she actually co-wrote with her sister, Kara, who is also here. It's called Loud Mouse. Oh! So, uh, please welcome the authors of Loud Mouse, Adina Menzel, and listen, and her sister, Kara Menzel. We'll talk about that in a And amazing and glamorous. I'm like, I don't even want to hug you. I'm gonna get like food on you. <laughs> Where is that food, by the way? All I can think about was like how hard it would be to eat that when the well, see, stress. And I would need well, we'll see if some of that can fall off a truck. Yes. Uh, so, what is the difference, like, with with the I spellings know. of your names? It's my fault. Because when I was younger, for some reason, when I was looking for a stage name, I thought Menzel would be pronounced easier than, oh, than the T. Plus, it was people would say mental, like mental and pencil. Oh, people I see. And so then when we had this book, I said, Kara, just make your name Kara Menzel. And she was like, no. <laughs> Menzel to a lot of students over the years, and I wasn't all of a sudden going to change my last name, and then they come back to visit when they're high schoolers, and they're like, where's my teacher? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Both of those stories are so yeah. adorable, but I, I love the, the, the food, like, how it would get misconstrued, like pretzel, metzel, you know yes. what I mean? Like, really, it's, yes. it's, it's so true and so funny. Uh, and did you ever think about changing it back and adding the T in once you became like a global superstar oh, yeah. and all that? Oh, yeah. Did yeah, you because then John Travolta wouldn't know what to do with himself. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it, I have a, a sister I'm very close to. Hi, Maria. We call her just Ria. Hi, Ria. <laughs> Maria and I are together a lot, all the time. And we still have a little bit of sibling stuff, you know, a little sibling rivalry in the kitchen. She's a great baker. She's like, oh, she, oh, right. uh, I suck Oh, at I heard that. You yeah, yeah, like yeah. baking, yeah, yeah. And I love to cook, but I like big girl knife, and anytime I ask her to chop anything, she takes the tiniest knife <laughs> in the kitchen. You know, and it, it's like, it's fun to work together, and it's also challenging. So let's just start there. How is it to work together? Let's start with the dysfunction. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Was this like the most delightful, easy as breathing? Uh, or was this like yeah. a, a bit of a challenge? Just tell us the story. No, it was, it was as easy as breathing. Yeah. yeah. We were, well, yeah. It's also because we've always been long distance. She's been in Boulder, Colorado ever since she went to see you there. And I was always New York girl. And so we miss each other a lot. So then um, we came up with this idea. And then we were in the pandemic together. So she came out and she lived with me and my son with her son. And they were all super close. And um, so we were just happy to kind of silver lining thing with the pandemic to be together. To you come know? out of yes. it with something that brought yeah. everyone yeah. in the family together. Yeah. yeah. So um, it's also really nice to collaborate as professionals, yeah. you know, because we do have this great personal relationship. But it's like for me to be like, oh, look at these things I can do as a teacher. Or, look yes, at these things I can do as a writer. Well, also, it's kind of what the book is about. I mean, I took up a lot of space as a little girl. I had this voice. Um, I wasn't always sure when it was okay to call attention to myself and share my gift, you know, and when um, people might scrutinize me or, you know, sort of dealing with that vulnerability and taking risks. And it also was the annoying big sister that <laughs> that oh <laughs> my god and just got that chills that's not even my family <laughs> that's so adorable so i don't mean to speak for her but i always do um but it's just like <laughs> she was oh my god um, oh, no, my but yeah she um you know it's 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 abnormal for a little seven-year-old girl to say i know what i want to do with my life most people you know, search a little bit longer to figure out what their path right. is going to be. So that's actually the sequel, Proud Mouse. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, and then... I was going to say, are you guys going to turn this into, now that you've had such a 
special experience collaborating together. Is the plan larger? Well, we did feel like there were two stories. We felt like um, this story was relatable, but also the other side of it, the, the little right. sister trying to figure out, okay, I don't have one thing that I excel at right. that stands out that I'm from the time I'm five saying this is who I want to be. It is, um, it is a two-part. A lot of people can't relate to that. Um, and talk about collaboration. Um, the thing is, like, all the focus about me being, you know, in the spotlight or whatever, but I really learned that my sister, when she was a TA in college, I came and I sat in the back and I learned, like, what an amazing teacher she could be. Then she became the, one of the greatest teachers. And um, teachers are the most important thing in any society, wherever you live, and she's anywhere also, on the planet. she's a literacy specialist when she's a teacher. Oh, and wonderful. she's a writer. So there was no way I wanted to do this book without her because she She's gave the me pro. the yeah, right. street, street cred. <laughs> Bring yeah. in the big guns. You know, I recently on Instagram, um, one of my students who's now become a teacher, you know, I saw a comment oh, of hers. So, oh. I know, I was like, I was going to oh. cry. And she was like, I am so buying this book. Miss Mansell was the best teacher I ever had. Yeah. And, I was like, oh. and, that's, and that's when I found that I, I heard my sister's voice. I mean, she actually has a really beautiful singing voice, too. That's for another show. That'll take up a whole thing. But um, There's a song attached to the book, too, no? Oh, yeah. Thank you for asking. Yeah, yeah. because we, we love tell them so about much. the refrain. Okay. Well, in part, we have a refrain because when in a children's book, it gives other children access. So not everybody can read all the words or not everybody can remember. So the fact that um, there's a refrain, people, children can feel like they're reading just because they have repetition. Memorized, you know? Right, right, right. right and right. then in addition to that, you know, it's also highly engaging to have that repeated part come about. And then, you know, of course, why wouldn't we have a song? It's, um, <laughs> I mean, it's Nina's book. So, every but, child yeah. in the world loves. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, and it can bring the entire planet's children together <laughs> yes. with music. Oh, yes. thank you. And also annoy every parent forever. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, no, so I just think that way, and we're trying to build this world more than just a children's book, a world of these characters. And What's the refrain? The message. And so the uh, D is the loud mouse. It's, you know, based on me, but she can be any ethnicity. She it's, holds her, her tail as her she's microphone. She's a mouse. Yeah, she the holds her tail as a microphone, and she sings, oh. um, with my, no, yeah. With my tail in my hand, right. my, my whiskers are proud. I sing it big. I sing it la 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 la. la. Uh, is available, well, it's available everywhere now in stores. <laughs> yes. And the Loud Mouse song is streaming now. Oh my gosh, you could start hooking your kids on it this, <laughs> this <laughs> moment. Thank you so much to both of you. Thank you. Thank You're you. So delightful. So lovely to have you together.